is early. We experience tells us KZN votes in the main, which is our base, come in very slowly, as do other the rural provinces of Limpopo, Eastern Cape, and Pumalanga. Um, and so, at this point in time, we are quite certain that the numbers will improve. Um, as is traditionally the case, we are standing at just below 20% of captured votes. So we're not particularly uh, worried at this point in time and we believe we ran a solid campaign and it will yield the results uh, which uh, uh, we, we want. And looking at how the numbers are standing in KZN, do you see a possible coalition government heading that province? Well, of course, KZN will be a coalition government. That was always the case uh, by all projections um, and polling that took place um, before elections. And so that reality is now upon us, and we will now take the necessary decisions um, after uh, the results have been announced, looking at the full spread uh, of what the elections have produced. Already have maybe a top two or top. Oh, we're not in the business of speculating. Okay. It would also not be uh, correct to do so because these are principle-based decisions that we'll have to take. We were part of the multi-party charter as part of the dialogues about how future coalitions um, could work. So we will take an informed decision on the basis of our own um, policy proposition, which was our 13-point plan manifesto, the results, um, the constitution and the um, developmental agenda that we want to set out uh, for the next five years. And are you happy how with how the election has been handled from the special voting up to yesterday. Are you happy with that? Well, the IEC has been found flat-footed uh, on quite a number of fronts, and I think honest and difficult conversations need to be had with the IEC and about the IEC and other various platforms in order to enrich the process. What we want to warn against uh, is these people who are allergic to uh, criticism towards the IEC. It doesn't help the process. We only have one IEC. Any criticism we meet out is for them to be able to strengthen processes to improve. So where they don't do right, it's part and parcel of public accountability and taking responsibility. And so we think that um, these armchair critics sitting at home uh, shouting wolf when you ever say something about the IEC are not helping the IEC. It's people who are actually quite clueless about the democratic project. But yes, we will definitely, um, after these elections, have a full assessment of the elections and how the IEC has fared and we will engage with them as we've been doing by the way it's not as if we're not talking to the IEC uh, so we, we, we fundamentally believe that it's in the country's interest to have those conversations with the IEC. Thank you, for your time. Thank you very much.